Further details are emerging of Lex Luthor's attempted election fraud with confirmation that the mind-controlling gas used at his rallies was supplied and distributed by none other than the Joker. Gotham police denied that the giant white face, green hair, and broad grin of Luther's robot accomplice should have alerted them sooner to the Joker's involvement, claiming that exposure to the mind control gas made them inattentive and forgetful. Yeah, that was the gas. Definitely the gas. Let go yet. I wasn't going to. Why is a giant robot climbing up Wayne Tower? Giant robot? Let's get it! Follow me. I, uh, know my way around this place. Lego Batman 2 DC Superheroes, and this is the Tower Defiance level, and it's the uh, it's one of two levels where you get to play as the members of the Justice League, and it's also the second to last level, which is a little bit disappointing. The game could have been longer, but at the same time, it feels like they would have been drawing it out way too long if it was any longer. <laughs> Uh, in this level, you get to play as Cyborg and the Green Lantern from the start, and uh, the Green Lantern, and uh, they have different abilities like being able to build these green Lego objects, and and of course flying for the Green Lantern. While Cyborg can use magnetic and laser vision, and I think electricity maybe, uh, and just a couple of abilities that you'd only be able to normally use if you were Superman or if you use the suits with Batman and Robin. Also, the thing about building these green Lego objects, uh, Lego bricks, you need to hold the build button until it's fully finished doing its animation, because if you don't, it'll break and you'll just have to rebuild it. And the game does make you... It makes you think that you actually got it done, so it's a little bit confusing. And I don't know why they did it the way they did it, but... Uh, you'll see what I mean when you play it, and Scar also did it there with that green hand. He thought that it was finished when it wasn't, and it's kind of annoying, but oh well. Oh, and also Cyborg has the super strength. I forgot about that. And of course, the closer you get to the robot, the more it's going to walk up the tower. So the whole goal is to get to the top of the tower so you can destroy the robot, or in this case, just knock him off the building. And it's, uh, so it's basically just going up one floor, or maybe it's ten floors, and then doing that floor and going up ten more floors until you're finished at the end of the level, obviously. So here, because you don't have Superman, you have to use the ice suit, and you freeze this wall. And of course, the Green Lantern can just fly up there if uh, you wanted him to, but you are going to need the other characters, so they also need a way to get up there. Then when you're in this room, use Cyborg's laser vision to open up this hexagon wall. And that wall is a little bit confusing because you don't, it's like, it doesn't tell you you're supposed to trace around the outside, so you're using your vision on it thinking, okay, what do I do now? And then a couple seconds later you realize, oh, it's on the outside, that's confusing. At least that's what went through my head when I did it. So in here, the ceiling will fall down, or I guess the floor for that guy, and for that uh, thug that was probably not too happy about his floor falling in. And then here, you want to use the ice suit to shoot those <coughs> ice dispensers, I'm going to call them. <laughs> and then get this uh, magnetic pipe opened up so you can walk up it with Cyborg. And of course, if you're... Playing with two players, the other person can just play with a green lantern so they can fly up here. Then you're going to want to zap these golden uh, boxes with Cyborg so you can use the green lantern to build the bricks. And once you do, it will be a magical green spider. So 
So that spider will eat through everything in here, which I don't know why we couldn't destroy it. But I guess Green Lantern's magic ring is more powerful than Cyborg or Batman or Robin. And then you'll get the suit terminal for Batman, which is the power suit. And you obviously will have to use that on these shiny objects because uh, the super strength is already given to you with Cyborg. And then you'll be able to go up yet another set of floors. And here, obviously, use Robin's ice suit to put out the fire. And of course, don't forget to freeze the person you're playing with. And then shoot an ice beam up on top of the... Or ice ball or ice blast up on that icicle that's... That snowflake that's up on the top there. And it can be very annoying trying to aim when you have the split screen. So if you're playing with another person, uh, try to keep your screen together. But if you're playing on your own, you don't have to worry about anything I say about if you're playing with another person. And you probably figured that much out, so I'm just going to move on. Anyway, here you will once again see the robot, but he will once again just climb up it. And there's the top of the tower. So you are getting closer, and... Don't think once you get to the top of the tower that's the end of the level, you still have to do a couple of other things, which makes this a relatively long level, but still not as long as that one chemical level that was like 28 minutes. Man, that was ridiculous. Anyway, switch into the power suits and run over here to the right, suck up the electricity, and that will let everyone else who can't fly across. And then come up this, uh, come up this ramp of this broken part of the tower. And put out the fire with the ice suit. And it is annoying trying to switch between the different people just because there's so many. And a common common thing in LEGO games is when there's more than one other person uh, following you and you want to switch to the other person, you're probably going to be switching to the wrong one. And it's just always happened since the beginning of LEGO games. And I thought it would get better, but it really hasn't. And the LEGO Harry Potter did it pretty well, but that was really slow, and it was almost faster just to mess up and choose the wrong one a couple of times. <laughs> uh, anyway, just get those green bricks down, switch to the green lantern, and for some reason the green lantern fell. And he was having a hard time following us, no idea why. Build the green bricks, and that will be two biplanes here. Fly them both into the fan, and the fan will slowly come to a halt. So here you are eventually going to be doing a small boss fight with the robot, and it's basically the last one. Even though there is another thing after it, but that's not that's not exactly a boss fight with a robot, it's more of a boss fight with the Joker. And anyway, once you come over here, build this green brick lantern, uh, what is it called? A truck thing. And of course, remember that you have to hold the button because the green mist around it, or the green aura around it, I guess you could call it, disappears once you get it built, and then it comes back once you're moving it into wherever the heck it needs to go. So it gives you the impression that you've finished it, but you really haven't. So then use Cyborg's laser vision to open up this panel. And of course switch to Batman in his electricity suit to suck up the electricity, and that will let Robin get into his hazard suit. And once you're in the hazard suit, you're going to want to be putting out, you want, you'll want to get rid of these little acid pools or these chemical pools that are sitting around these buckets, not buckets, barrels. And this can be kind of annoying because it's, the aimer's weird and the detection for when the water's hitting it is even weirder. And if you need to, there's a pool of water right there so you can uh, fill up your flood device. 
And once you get rid of some of it, there's going to be more. And I thought it was unnecessary to add that many chemicals. It was just... I don't know why they had to. But eventually you'll be able to build the handle on the helicopter, which you will obviously need to be, use Cyborg uh, to pull on. But you can't pull on it until the, uh, the chemicals are gone. So once you finally get rid of the chemicals, pull on the stupid helicopter. And that will give you a pathway across the pit of fire. Although try not to fall into the pit of fire because that just would ruin your day. Once you're on the other side here, you'll see the fire and the mini kid inside that uh, container there. And you're going to want to switch to, oh wait, not his ice suit. You'll just want to use Robin's hazard suit. I do that. You want to use Robin's hazard suit to put out the fire. And then put the electricity in the generator here so you can electrocute the robot. And over here is where you'll have the boss fight for the robot itself. And just get rid of the goons that are following you, then run on over there. And then the Joker's robot word text thing is gonna glitch out so it won't show anything, but zoom in on his robot twice. And then destroy these boxes and build the missile launcher that gets created when you build the bricks <laughs> and then jump in the missile launcher and this was basically a very 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 lazy design for a boss fight because all you do is jump in it and then shoot at the joker but the aimer is way off so you kind of have to shoot way below the joker's face or way below joker's robot's face and hit him in the chest or in the face eventually you'll hit him then he'll knock you out of the missile launcher and then you have to jump back in it. You don't even have to rebuild it until the third time. And then you just shoot him again. And you're basically invincible inside the missile launcher. This was just a very lazy boss fight, I feel. Anyway, shoot him again. More green, uh, more green bricks will come out of him. And once you shoot him once again, or I guess he doesn't even destroy the missile launcher until you take out all his hearts. But... Once you do take out all his hearts, then you need to build these green bricks that fell out in front of him with the green lantern, of course. And then that will get you to a very fun part of this level. And this is where you get to skydive, and it also tells you how huge Wayne Tower really is, because it is a ginormous building. Here, your whole the whole point of it is just to skydive all the way down onto the onto Joker's robots, and then fight the Joker, do that three times, and you'll finally hit the ground. But the thing is, you don't have any limit or anything because you can fall endlessly until Joker loses his hearts. And I don't think he has three hearts. Maybe he does. Oh, he does. Okay. And the way this works is that he'll be coming out of the robot's legs firing missiles at you. And there'll be certain times when he's shooting the missiles that you will be able to hurt him. And I think what you have to do... I'm not entirely sure because it's a little bit confusing. I think what you have to do is get him to have the missile come back at him because you're standing next to him. So he shoots the missile which homes on you. So it goes forward, comes back, and lands on him instead of you, or lands on you and him because you're standing right next to him, and then you'll be able to hurt him. Or you just have to wait for him to pop up a certain amount of times, and you'll be able to hurt him anyway. And for the skydiving thing, the only real thing to avoid are the big plates of the building coming out of you, and the big support stuff like that. And it's actually, uh, there's a kind of a trick you can do if you want to be lazy and it you fly as far out to the edges of the I'm gonna say the limit that they let you go in this skydiving thing right here if you fly out as far as you can you're gonna avoid anything killing you and you will of course land on the robot eventually but it's kind of 
And it's kind of boring that way, but it can actually be kind of fun just because you're falling and seeing all the stuff rushing past you and seeing the ground never ever coming up towards you. And I don't know, I just thought this was a pretty cool part of this level. So maybe the previous fight for the robot was lazy because they worked so hard on this. I don't know. Anyway, uh, when you get him to the, his lower hearts, he'll shoot a lot more rockets at you and of course take longer to actually get out of the legs.